My name is Dr. Patrick Soon Cheong, and I'm here today to present to you the science behind the coronavirus. I really think it's really important for us to present some of the signs because it's very clear to me that there's a lot of fear out there and what adds to the sphere is confusion. But if you could present the science and really try and understand not only how does this coronavirus work, how does it infect the body, what does it do, and how we can actually attack it, we have an opportunity to really uh, provide some peace of mind, some level of control in the hands not of every individual, but the entire community. <clears throat> I'm really excited by the fact that this cor coronavirus has attacked us in 2003, and we have the benefit of that insight and scientific knowledge. But we also today have tools that we didn't have then. We have more genomics, we have more bioinformatics, we have supercomputing. And together with those tools, I think we have a real shot at not only defeating this virus, but overcoming this pandemic. So in order for me to take you through this uh, complex story of this coronavirus today, we will talk about how do we understand this virus? How does the virus infect your body? And more importantly, explain the symptoms that are associated with this infection. What can we do to control and prevent its spread? And excitingly, what is on the horizon that the entire world scientists as a community are working together to cure this infection and prevent us from getting this in the first place? There are some questions we won't be able to fully answer yet, is how long is this pandemic, will this pandemic last? I think it's important that this uh, one hour special will have a separate, maybe a slightly different lens. While the world is wor working on very significantly on how to kill the virus, we want to take this lens of what does this virus do to your body, i.e. the host, and how can we prevent it getting into your body, into the cells? How can we actually treat the host or the patient to prevent it becoming a severe fatal disease? So while on the one hand, uh, we were working hard to develop a vaccine, and I think it's important and realistically important for us to identify a treatment now for those that are severely ill.